Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in to another video here on the channel. We're here in Long Island, New York. Right here, we got a cell tower right here. And it has all the carriers. And including Dish, but Dish is gone. Sorry about the wind background noise, guys. It is windy. I do not have my microphone set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to test the carriers real quick. I got Verizon on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. I am using the iPhone 17 Pro Max to record on because... I don't know, I just wanted to do it this way. So we got 31 ping six shooter on Verizon. All right, let's see what she does. Some good throughput out here. It's not bad. So we're looking at 1,036 down. I mean, it better be good. This is Verizon neck of the woods, right? And 115 on the up. Not bad at all. All right. And then we're going to get, um, hopefully my phone won't drop, shoot, let's get T-Mobile, all right, 66 ping, 94 jitter, but t mobiles doing actually pretty good too, wow, not bad, you know, uh, I've been, since I've been doing this trip, guys, just, just letting you know, honestly, Verizon is top dog, man. They have the upgrades, they have the ultra wideband in a lot of places, especially a lot of the country roads like in, in uh, Oklahoma, on US 60, US 69, stuff like that. You know, a lot of people said that it was gonna be bad by the Grand Canyon. Well, they got ultra wideband all through there now, so I don't know. I mean, you know, maybe, maybe you guys need to get out a little bit more, you know, and actually travel the country, but here you go, 1309 down and 33.3 .3 on the up on T-Mobile. But yeah, guys. Verizon is been the main phone for a lot of stuff and it's been working. So AT&T 44 ping 2 jitter. The worst carrier on this trip has literally been AT&T. Especially I have the first net first responder line that's what this is and it is freaking horrible. My Verizon's first responder, my T-Mobile's T priority, so I'm using all first responder lines. And T-Mobile and Verizon have been pretty damn good. So we got 371 down and 66.3 on the up. So that's what I wanted to get to you guys. It's literally that Verizon and T-Mobile have actually been pretty solid on this trip. Just the fact Verizon never lost service once. Not once at all. Yeah, it went to LTE a few times. I would say about, about five times. And it stayed, the longest it stayed in LTE was about a 10 mile stretch. All right. AT&T, I was trying to do Google Meets with it, with the guys and stuff like that. I would drop calls. It would go to no service. It would just be a mixed bag. Latency, it wouldn't load even GPS. I would have to airplane mode it a few times just to get it to go. And T-Mobile lost service four times the whole trip. One was long. It was about almost a 20 mile stretch. But the other ones were quick hiccups. So literally it would lose service and then it would come back within 30 seconds or less. So I would say Verizon's still the king of coverage. If you wanna drive cross country, T-Mobile is a good second choice, a very good. And you guys know how I am with T-Mobile. I hate the hell out of them. They are the scumbag company to me, especially how lines got stolen out of my account. My identity got stolen because of them. But a space of spade, you know, they are, they are a good second option for a cross country traveler. And AT and T, ever since they did the Ericsson conversions, straight hot trash garbage. It is the scumbag network there is. If I, if AT and T was born with a mother, its mother should have aborted it and swallowed it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how bad it is. They used to be my second option. I I would consider the old Sprint network a better option than this scumbag company. But other than that, guys, I would say if you want to do rural, like, you know, cross country travel and rural, and rural, you know, explorations and stuff like that, I would say Verizon and have a Verizon and a T Mobile line and you'll be set. It'll work throughout the whole fucking country. No problem. Okay, so let's do this last test. So 25 ping 5 jitter, 845 down, 184 up on Verizon, ATT 44 ping 2 jitter, 302 by 61. And then you got T-Mobile 84 ping 9 jitter, 725 by 39.5. I just wanted to let you guys know that. All right. Thank you. I appreciate all the fucking love and support, guys. 
you know, we're here in Long Island, you know, we made it from coast to coast. So thank you to all the channel members for love, support, always on the channel. Go suck a dick, suck a dick, suck a motherfucking dick, suck a dick, suck a huge or small dick. You know, with just everything that's just been horrible, you know, but appreciate that. All right, I'm going to catch you in the next one, guys. Take it easy. Peace. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you're always notified when we upload content. Have a great one. Peace.